going on everybody uh today i'm going to be checking out this tc view by top don a thermal imaging camera that actually snaps right into the bottom of your iphone this is the model uh tc002 this is uh connects to the lightning charger on the iphone uh, they also have a model tc001 that um, snaps into a USB type C for Android. Um, so, like I said, this is a thermal imaging camera. And um, yeah, we're going to open it up. We're going to try it out and see how it works. All right, we'll take a look at some of the features listed on the back here uh, 256, uh, 192 high res infrared camera, uh, real time temp waveform. Uh, iOS devices with lightning port supported, so you got to have the lightning port on this. I've heard some rumblings of the lightning port going away, but I mean the newest iPhone has it, so I mean you don't have to probably worry about that for a while. Um, temperature uh, abnormality alarm, uh, testable temp range is um, negative four degrees to 1,022 degrees, so that cover that well covers anything in uh, residential, light, commercial, HVAC. Um, and customizable uh, imaging optimization. So a couple of the, um, the features listed on the back there. Yeah. All right, inside the box here, they have a nice little carrying case for it. All right, let's open up the case here. All right, so inside the case here, we have the actual camera. Uh, we have a cord here. This cord, um, you can plug this into the bottom of the phone and then the camera into this side. Uh, so you can, um, it can be more mobile. You can put it in uh, hard to reach places. Um, I'm sure it has other options for using this, but um, that's what I found. If you plug this to the bottom of the phone and then that other end of the camera, you don't have to keep it connected just to the phone. You can move it around and, um, and, uh, and yeah, get it into hard to reach places. So also in the case is a cleaning rag. So, all right, um, let's take a look next at uh, what we need to download as far as uh, the app to make this work. All right, guys, this is the name of the app. It's called Top Infrared. This is actually a new app. This isn't the original app they came out with with this device. So, um, yep, it's called the Top Infrared. You're going to want to download that. And then we're going to open this up. And it's giving us instructions on what to do next. All right, so let me back up a little bit. So after you connect the camera, it will come up to this, and then you're going to hit thermal imaging. I've got the cord hooked up to it because I've noticed that um, the actual camera here, if you have a case on your phone like I do, it doesn't like to snap in there. So the cord makes it easier to snap into your case. So we have the camera right here, and we're going to test the temperature of the mini split here. So if you look here, <clears throat> our mini split is putting out 46, 45 degree air. Back up a little bit. You can see that nice blue down there where it's actually sen sensing that difference in temperature. All right, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna test the return. You can see that cold coil in there. So we're actually gonna back up a little bit because we don't wanna get the coil temperature. We wanna get the return temperature. So that's going to be about 70 degrees. All right. And if you look down there, it's actually giving me my supply and now my return at the same time. So that makes it uh, a lot easier. So on this, this slide bar on the side here, if you look, that's giving you our highest temperature and then our lowest temperature it's sensing right now. So, um, its highest temperature that it's picking up is 78. Its lowest is going to be 49. That's going to be the, um, the discharge of our mini split right now. All right, and we're actually in a bonus room right now. So if we take the camera and look around here, you can actually see the heat loss of this room. You can see um, up here um, in these seams where they're actually losing some heat there. So we're going to try, um, yep, we're going into the hallway there where it's cooler in the hallway. This room was not being used, so it's a lot um, warmer in this room than it is out in the hallway. 
you can see just the temp you can actually see the actual uh, studs the actual rafters of the roof there the temperature difference there very cool stuff all right we're gonna um we're gonna delve into some more of these features and um see what else this thing can do all right what we can actually do here now this condenser just cut off but you can see the temperature difference in the uh in the coil here so if you wanted to you could film line you could go to that line feature and see what your temperature difference across your coil is so if we go from here to here we're 96 on the top and then uh, 80 on the bottom so we know we are transferring heat and our refrigerant is cooling so that's one feature you could use with that line feature um, you could also you could also do dot and then um just put a dot up here 93 76 our condenser is actually cooling now you can watch it cool that's that, that's pretty nice um where it just turned off so it's now going blue where it was all red pretty cool stuff All right, and right here we have a filter dryer. We're going to test the temperature drop across. We can use the dot feature to test there, or we can take and use the line feature and draw a line right there across. Um, so it's kind of hard. I'm kind of shaking the camera back and forth here, but um, uh, you can get a good temperature drop across a filter dryer with this. Um, you see, that's nice. So. Um, or you could take um, back to dot and we can put a dot on the pipe coming in and then the pipe going out you can see there and you can see this filter dryer is pretty good we don't have any really much temperature drop but um, yeah just another feature uh, you can test with this um, with, with this camera so pretty neat stuff all right and also we're testing a supply vent here looks like we're about 50 degrees there and we're going to go ahead over to our return and we're getting instant temperature readings here no need to let a um a thermometer stabilize so as soon as we point it at it we're getting it these blue dots here they are our supplies in our ceiling so i'm about 15 feet away from that right now getting a good accurate reading 52 degrees from that one there and yeah we're going over here to this next one. This is pretty neat. Looking at here, this is another supply. We can see it blowing into the wall there. You can see the wall where that cool air is spilling down the wall there. That's pretty cool. And then into this room here, we can have, we have another supply here. You can see that wall right there where that supply is uh, shooting its cool air to that wall there and the blueness on the wall. So it's pretty cool stuff. That was Kenny's hand there. <laughs> and there's Kenny. Hi, Kenny. All right, guys, if you look here, we have a, um, a condensate pump here underneath a, a mini split unit that's been leaking and when I first looked at it, it seemed like this wall was wet. And if we take a look at the thermal, you can see how wet that wall really is. See that red at the top is our, is our pump and all that blue is where it is moisture. Yep, so we know we got a pretty significant leak here. Yeah, guys, in here we have an electrical compartment on a heat pump, and we're looking at the contactor here to see if we have overheating there. It doesn't look like we do. Right where that 82 degrees is there, that's our contactor. And looks like we're pretty good there. We're going to check out the rest of this electrical compartment. Um, looking good, actually. Um, except up here looks like we have a hot spot there and that is where our fan relay is it looks like that has got some um, excessive heat there so that's a point that I should look at 151 degrees is that relay so we might have a failing relay there um, that I might have to take a look at so just another benefit of using a thermal imaging camera checking electrical components 
and seeing if they're overheating or not. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is the Top Don TC View uh, TC002 for iPhone thermal imaging camera. Um, my overall opinion of it, it's a good camera. Um, especially if you don't want to buy a whole separate device for thermal imaging, you can just snap it right into the bottom of your phone, um, either iPhone or Android, uh, pick your poison. And, um, and yeah, it gives you thermal imaging right away. Um, you're gonna spend about $250 on this. Um, I'm gonna put a link down in the description. If you use that link, you'll get a discount on it. Um, it's my link. But my link specific if you use the link um, you, you will get a discount so that's good um, so use that link and um, and yeah I really like that line feature for um, for testing temperature drop across stuff um, filter dryers um, and heating season you can use it for uh, radiant floor heating um, uh, temp temperature drop across coils I mean the list goes on and on guys I mean I break my thermal imaging camera out every single day just to get temperature splits I mean instantaneous temperature you don't have to wait for your uh, for your thermometer to stabilize now I, I know we, we need to use our, um, our our psychrometers and our probes whenever we need to diagnose something but if you just need a temperature of something real quick bam right there you know instant so um, you know, thermal imaging is the future, guys. You know, you need to get on it. You know, <laughs> I'm, I've been on, I've had my other camera uh, for about a year now, and I love it. I use it all the time. And every time, every time someone asks me about thermal, I tell them you got to get one. You know, because once you have it, you're like, wow, I wish I've had this thing forever. Um, I haven't used it for leak searching, refrigerant leaks yet, but I know guys that have. Um, because when you get in to, say you have a hot coil unit that hasn't been running, that refrigerant leaking out is going to be cold. So you should, in theory, be able to find that refrigerant leak with a, um, a, a thermal imaging camera. So, and I showed you, you could, uh, you could find watermarks on, um, on drywall, watermarks anywhere really. Like I said, I, when I first walked up to that mini split, I said, this feels kind of damp busted out the camera bam it was damp and all that blue right there was all was all water so um so yeah guys pick yourself up one use the link in the description let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys are already using thermal cameras you know they've been around for years and they're so they're so much more affordable now than they were just a few years ago you know a few years ago you were paying at least a thousand dollars for just a handheld thermal camera now you can get one for 250 bucks so Good deal, good camera. So, all right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. If you haven't done so already, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you like me doing these tool reviews. Um, I get uh, emails all the time from manufacturers getting me to review their tools. I'll do some more, uh, and I'll pick tools that I think you guys will use um, because, you know, we use a lot of tools in this field, and a lot, a lot of new stuff's coming out. And um, if you guys want me to review them, let you know what I think about them, I will. So let me know about that. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.